okay hello guys so this is the gen Pond max pro m1 and it's using the android 13 using the pixel experience okay in this video i will make a quick review of the rom all the basic function check the email wi-fi offline charging camera taking picture record video check the gps and also test the root beer safety net and other stuff okay so we will you will get a better view about rom if you need the tutorial on how to flash this rom you can check the on the previous video on the part one okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys come like we meet again with bomb okay this is the second part from the tutorial and in this section i will try to make a quick review about the rom okay on the first part uh, i already show you how to flash the custom rom and also custom recovery and using the pixel expert and android routine and in this section let's try to test rom is it good enough or not for daily driver okay so first thing i want to show you as usual it has a new display a quite nice display okay and we have a power button right here and you can always customize lots of stuff in here okay and let's go to the settings <coughs> but button and android 13 here we go it's using the latest firmware update 2003 February 5 okay you can always enable the developer option by hit the build number five times go back go to the settings right here developer option and we can see the memory usage for this one it's using just 1.8 gigabyte from total 3 gigabyte okay let's go back and I always uh, change the animation so it will feel more smoother usually I will change to 0 0.5 okay you can try it it will make uh, better okay more smoother and if you don't like the navigation like this like this one can always change to the settings and find the navigation okay let's try find the navigation system navigation and change the gesture okay maybe you want to change the three button navigation like in the all android ways <laughs> okay nice and now let's check the storage Maybe you want to know the storage where is it okay let's check the storage and it's using 8.6 gigabyte okay quite large but it's better than stock rom and you also have new update security update okay <clears throat> and now maybe some of you guys want to know the email is it safe or not okay let's check the email okay nice so we have both of our our email and you can see right here we're using the wi-fi so there is no problem with the wi-fi and also sim card and also for offline charging i already tested the offline charging is working Oh, now let's open the IDA64 and hit check the CPU and the CPU clock range is between 600 and 1.8 gigahertz okay let's check the root beer root beer usually used to check the rooted pawn if your pawn is rooted or not okay nice not rooted you can always root using mages <coughs> And let's check the safety net. 
Save the net status, pass, nice. It means that you can use the banking apps and other stuff safe safely. Okay. Now let's check the CPU throttle. CPU throttle is used for making a stress test. It means it will use all the resource on the pawn to check if it throttle or not easily. You can feel it when you're playing games or uh, other software such video editing and other stuff. And this is the result. The max performance is 122 Gbps and the minimum is 92 uh, something like that. Okay, So it's quite nice for an old phone. Uh, it's better than the stock ROM. You can play games with the ROM. Quite nice. Okay. Now let's open the map. Maybe you want to know. And here we go. So it's shown me the ex exact position of me. So it's quite nice. The so the GPS doesn't have any problem. Okay. So now let's I'm going to take a picture and also record video using the front and back camera. Okay. And I will show you the result. And now let's check the result. This is the result from the back camera and this is the result from the front camera. It's not very good, don't expect it too much, but you can always use Gcam to have a better result. Okay, and this is the video. Now I'm recording using the front camera and let's check the result. Okay, guys, now I'm recording. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the back camera and let's check the result. Okay, hello guys. So, all the function of the camera is working properly. Front and back camera for taking picture and also record video. Okay, now let's try to test the sound and video playback by play the uh, music video on YouTube. on YouTube. Okay, let's play it. Okay, nice. So there is no problem with the sound and video. The sound play very nice and loud. Okay, so we have test all the basic function for this spawn, and for the conclusion, it's quite good enough. Very nice, better than Socrom, and it's also using the latest Android security update patch. Okay. That's so all guys, I hope this video helps you, see you on the next video. And I hope you like my video, if you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have a lot of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun, okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung Realme, Asus, and other stuff, okay. Uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum